As the weather begins to clear at the Key Bridge collapse site, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is giving a more detailed timeline of the recovery. They expect a limited access channel 35 feet deep, 280 feet wide, to be cleared by the end of this month. The full channel measures 50 feet deep and 700 feet wide and is expected to be open again by the end of May. Officials are optimistic about the work ahead. Things are, uh, are progressing. I think you're going to see a lot more activity over the next couple of days as we get some better weather. Well, crews are also working to remove a 350-ton piece of the bridge from the Patapsco River in the next few days. Fox 45's Keith Daniels joins us live in Dundalk with an update on salvage operations. Keith? Well, Mary and Kai, officials say as the weather conditions improve here, we'll see a lot more cutting and lifting of that mangled bridge. Meantime, crews continue to do what they can to reopen the channel here as recovery efforts are not forgotten. Governor Westmore at his news conference today stressing his number one priority, locate the four construction workers whose bodies are still missing after a crippled cargo ship hit the bridge last week, causing it to collapse. Recovery efforts continuing, he says, to bring some peace to the victims' families. On the day of the collapse, I said that we would stop at nothing to support these families. And we will continue to stop at nothing to give these families the closure that they need and the closure that they deserve. The mission complicated, officials say, because the water is so murky and the collapse so severe that divers can't see more than two feet in front of them. Crews now having to rely on sonar technology to help guide them. So far, the, you know, the scans that we have done uh, and the sonar images and the 3D uh, images have not uh, revealed any locations of, uh, of um, potential people or vehicles. As those efforts continue, so do the salvage and clearing of the channel operations, slow and steady. The collapse of the bridge is so distinct and so severe with the metal that is so disconfigured and so brought together and pancaked that it continues to make this mission extraordinarily complicated and dangerous. But still, progress. Today we are continuing uh, dive survey operations, um, looking at uh, making the engineering analysis for where we're gonna do the next cuts uh, to remove the bridge. Also, officials with an update on helping businesses impacted by the bridge collapse. Officials say a new permanent business center has opened in Baltimore County, helping almost 80 businesses that need assistance. It opens Friday at 8. The head of the U.S. Small Business Administration in Baltimore today, highlighting the resources available to those who need it. In this case, economic injury disaster loans are being deployed uh, with funds available up to $2 million to support businesses and nonprofits with low interest, long term loans. Money to help. As the governor says, the work is moving, the mission continues. Well, regarding the Army Corps timeline to reopen the channel. The governor sent out a statement late tonight that reads in part, he and his teams, quote, must do everything they can to meet those target dates. We're live in Dundalk tonight. Keith Daniels, Fox 45 News.